Hi, I'm Gabby from the Boys and Girls Club, Joe R. Lee, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a panda corn, which is like a panda unicorn. All you need to do this drawing is a pencil, a black marker, either a Sharpie or a regular marker, and an eraser. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is our panda corn's head, which is like a big oval. So I want you to take your pencil, use light pressure, go ahead and do a nice big oval. Man, my panda corn's got a big head, but that's okay. So we got our oval. Next thing we're gonna work on is the body. So I just want you to go ahead and do a square coming down from the oval. Just like that. We are gonna go ahead and do his little arms, but you can see he's holding a heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a heart right in the center of the square. Doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best heart that you can do. And then we'll add his arms coming down from the bottom of the oval, holding that heart. There we go. Now he needs little legs. Uh, so for the legs, I'm just gonna do two little curved lines kind of cutting off the corners of the square and then I'm going to do another square and an oval so you can kind of see how it looks like little legs and little feet now. So don't worry about all these inside lines, this is going to be filled in anyway. Our panda corn also has little wings so I'm going to do two lines, their curves kind of going up and then there's like three little feathery parts. So I'm just going to do two little, three little feathers going down. Okay, so now we're going to add some detail to the face. So first thing I like to do is make a grid so we know where our nose and our eyes are going to go. So take your pencil, cut the oval in half going straight down, and then cut it in half again this time from side to side. So we're going to start with the circle for the eyes. So the circle for the eyes is going to be sitting right on top of that line. Pandacorn's got pretty big eyes, so we'll give them big circles here. And then the next thing we're going to do is another circle outside of that. So I'm going to do my best to put a slightly bigger circle around that. And this part is going to be the whites of the eye. And as you can see, his eyes are so big, they catch a lot of light. So if you see here, see how there's these little white dots? We need to put those in. So I'm going to do a circle in the top left corner, there, and then a smaller circle down in the other corner. It's like That's what makes them look so cute. So now we got to add these big black spots on the eye. So I like to start in the middle, do two curved lines, getting pretty close to that middle line here, and then we'll just bring those around. And those don't have to be any specific shape. They're a little, little irregular, kind of like droopy ovals. Okay, for our nose we're going to do an oval right under this middle line here. And then the mouth is just two J's back to back coming down from that oval. For our ears, uh, I'm going to put them right in the middle of this part here. So if you kind of think of this half as like a pizza slice, we're cutting that slice in half and that's where our ears are going to go. And those are just C's, just little C shapes facing our panda head. Okay, last thing we need is of course our unicorn horn. So I'm going to do a curved line on the forehead. Bring it up to a nice skinny triangle. Awesome. 
So next I'm going to grab my Sharpie and we are going to go over this. I'm going to start at the top of our panda corn and work our way down. So first thing, I'm going to go around this horn and I'm going to go ahead and add these little lines. So these are just little curved lines going all the way up the horn. I'm going to go ahead and bring a line all the way around the head of the panda corn. Perfect. And now our ears are going to be filled in black. Okay. For our eyes, I'm going to start with that inner circle that we made. And what I'm going to do is fill this in and I'm going to go around these little circles because those little circles are the light reflecting off of the eye. So we got to leave those blank and fill in everything around it. Okay, next thing I'm going to fill in is the spots. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go around my spots really quickly. And then I'm going to leave that middle circle blank just for the whites of the eyes. I'm going to fill all of this space in. For our nose, I'm going to go right over that oval, right over the mouth. Our arms are going to be filled in. Go right over the heart. Bring down the sides of the body. Go right over the pencil lines for the wings. And then of course our legs are also gonna be filled in with our black marker. There we go. Now if you have colored pencils or markers on hand, you can go ahead and erase all of our pencil lines. And you can color the horn and the heart and the wings.